welcome. This is the energy vibration lasing for the um, uh, the Gemini, the Gemini's. A welcome, um, you Gemini's. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for each and every person that has left the message on um, the channel on. And thank you for your supports and your likes and your shares. Okay, please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And my apologies for last week. I've done so much reading, and I can't um, overexpress my gifts, so um, I had to take some rest. Okay, here we are. We're in the second week of January already, and in the second week of January for you, Gemini's. Let's see what it is that you have. Um, for you Gemini's there are positive energies there's a lot of situation that some of you Gemini's are going to have with your parents okay there are situation that is coming out for you Gemini's um, that's have to do with your parents you Gemini's okay so okay let's look at your week and let's um, focus on your week for you Gemini's um, we have um, the two of cups this week is a week of an emotional week but it's going to be good emotional for you guys I'm not seeing anything that is bad it's going to be um, a very good emotional for you guys the energy of the Sun is here the Empress there are major arcana in your reading there are three um, major arcana whatever you decide to do and done the um, Thursday go ahead and do it okay um, it's um, a week of water and the zodiac energy of the earth. Um, you guys have the um, have this energy of the um, two of cups, and this energy of the two of cups is going to be good because it's connecting. But you're connecting with family members or your partner. Okay, um, most of you are connecting with family members. Or your partners so let's look and see what is happening um, you first on Monday have the energy of this page of cups this page of cups is um, a new love coming in or um, people could be telling you um, how they feel about you most of the time it is a positive energy of new love coming into you it's as if people are going to be so understanding and so realizing what has happened and what has transpired with you and um, you know it's as if they're, um, they're they're giving their hands out or their heart out and saying you know um, here for some people if you have kids you're going to realize that on Monday the kids are going to be very loving whatever the situation is try and find some time and show them that love in return okay because it's it's positive it's a water energy but it's a good energy okay as we move forward we have an earth energy the energy of the Empress this is wonderful because what is transpiring for the energy of the Empress is um, a positive energy because um, this energy of the Empress is letting you know that uh, together um, you are going to be building something together um, this the energy of the embers comes up to say that you have supporting um, people who are going to support you and people who are going to be moving on your journeys with you and this is going to be extremely positive so whatever the situation that transpired know that this energy of the Empress there's going to be a lot of nurturing for the women who are fertile at this time if you don't want to get pregnant you have to be careful because uh, um, the Empress has also the energy of the King of Pentacles. So whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, um, it's going to be good because um, the Empress is, is a major arcana and she's coming up. Whatever that has um, forfeit and whatever that has transpired and forfeit, um, she is coming up beside the king of pentacles and with these two hurt signs in the middle of your um, reading it's very good because um, some of you are going to be partner up in business with the energy of uh, 
the two of cups with a good partner you're going to be partner partnering up with this in business with someone who's a good partner and who is going to help you and move you to um, and, and elevate you in business wise career wise um, um, it can be also a partner that some of you are going to be connecting um, with you know the men over 40 um, that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn and then some of you men will connect with women so this could be the new love that is coming in for you Gemini's and they're all Taurus Virgo or Capricorn people they're all earth people and this is going to be good if you decide to connect with these people um, success is going to come to you um, a huge wonderful success is going to come to you because what is going to happen is that this energy of the Sun is bringing a lot of success and you this year for you Gemini's and hair sign people is a surprising and a happy year so this is going to be um, a very positive year whatever the situation is and whatever that transpired this is going to be an extremely positive year as we move on and we see the energy of uh, um, the um, page of swords um, this energy of the page of swords is a wonderful energy it is an energy of uh, you um, standing up and using um, the intellect and the intelligence of um, cutting away things that was not um, healthy or was unbalanced that sort of a thing and what is happening is that um, you you know reaching in words and using this because it's all about uh, you know connecting with another person on another level but yet still you're going to use your intellect to look at a situation okay um, I don't know what is happening for you guys on Saturday with a lot of air sign um, Saturday is going to be a good good day for them um, this is the energy of you Gemini's so Saturday is going to be your date Saturday is going to be a, a very um, positive day what I also want to say about Saturday is that Saturday um, for um, some of you who haven't um, contact your parents in a very long time it is good to do that on Saturday so you Gemini's it is good to just go you know if you are partner up just tell your partner that you just want to go visit your parents and see your parents this is good because sometimes we're always with our partners we can never connect with our parents as how we're supposed to do okay because I always give my um, my partner time to um, be with his parents and um, you know sometimes people just need that <laughs> they always say no we want you to come and I'm thinking yeah but I want you to kind of connect with your son you know and and they're they're positive people but I always think that you should give your partner space okay um, as we move forward um, we have the energy of the Queen of Cups um, the energy of the Queen of Cups here is coming up and there is a situation with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun whatever this energy is um, there is someone who you're going to be connecting with there is someone who is coming up and this person um, for the people whose parents mother is an um, water sign a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion um, be aware and your father is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn um, be aware if your father was sick it's going um, he's going to feel better okay um, this is good because this is good news for your mom it's as if she prayed and somehow um, your father is going to feel much better and it can also be that your father has prayed and your mom is going to um, be um, feeling much better and this is going to be good so um, 
check out and look and see whose parents um, if your mom is uh, um, if your mom is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion because um, she is going to be there you know there is it's as if the light came over her it's as if the energy of the Sun comes over her and is helping the family to heal from a situation that has transpired and this is good somehow I am seeing a situation with someone father who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and someone mom who is a Pisces cancer of a scorpion and what they're doing for you whether they're um, on this dimension this um, dimension or they're on the spirit realm they are bringing you healing in a way that they are helping to remove things um, that has transpired in your life so it is actually a performed good week because it's a week of transformation it's a week of love it's a week of connecting it's a week of two um, people or um, and it could be um, in the the um, connection of the people in the spirit world for some people who might not have um, the, you know their parents are not um, here on this dimensional field at this moment and they're in another dimensional field but they're bringing you such wonderful and say thank you you know whenever these things happen um, we forget to say thank you um, to let them know that that we are uh, we are appreciative of what is happening for them and you need to say thank you and um, feel good about yourself and know that this is um, going to work out positive okay see so that message came from the spirit world for um, someone out there uh, so if your family is in the spirit world that message was for you it came um, from the spirit world and this energy is whenever this comes up in a reading it is always the universal angels and beam and it says the flame of wisdom crown I am open to all of life wisdom and share it with gratitude so you know I'm grateful um, and what I love about this this is an Indian chief and I'm so connected with the Indians um, the American native Indians because they have so much wisdom and light and I am one of those people who have profound great respect for the American Indians um, the native the Native American Indians because um, there is so much information that if we um, as Westerners learn from them and you know it's it's such beautiful um, um, group of people who have come to this planet um, to help us to understand certain things so um, ladies and gentlemen I can go on for like a very long time speaking about the Indians and what I so like about this is the Sun the Sun looks like um, with this Indian chief and he's over the fire and you know it is good sometimes to call upon the universal angels and guides and ask uh, um, the fire dragons to come in and to cleanse your energy in your house and see um, each door and windows off in your house and this is this is wonderful and say thank you to Archangel Gabriel and the fire salamanders and the fire dragons for always um, helping you and supporting you and this is one of those times you know and you know I always advise people come back listen to the reading and always and write these affirmation down I am open to all of life wisdom and share it with gratitude it is so and it will be always finish with it is so and it will be because these are the affirmations ladies and gentlemen um, I want to say that this week um, is a positive week um, it is a week where um, you know new love is coming in you have two pages um, and for the people who have kids who is 
um, if you have kids who are Pisces cancer or scorpion be open to that child because that child is bringing a new love to you and if you have kids who are and it can be also the energy of your inner child because you're an air sign so if you have kids um, that is um, Aquarian Gemini Aquarian Gemini's or Libran um, uh, open up yourself and listen to them and this is for the women out there because the kids needs your nourishing um, feeling the kids really need your nourishing um, feelings and this is going to be um, very positive it's going to be a positive weeks for you guys um, a lot of messages will be coming in for you guys it can be um, via the spiritual realm and it's um, I'm wishing you a wonderful week please like share these videos and listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and please I want to say thank you to each and every person that has left message behind so wonderful so grateful I tried to um, say thank you to each and every person but it was on my my um, my um, notice board so I'm not sure if a lot of people saw that but I I'm so grateful thank you so much thank you for all the support I'm so grateful um, for the newcomers thank you for being here and I want to say namaste until next week mm -hmm.